Sebastião Salgado was born in Brazil on February 8, 1944 in a small town of 16,000 inhabitants, Amores, in the state of Minas Gerais. In the 1940s, more than 70% of this region was still covered by the foliage and trees of the Atlantic Forest, one of the 25 environmental hotspots on our planet. At that time, this coastal Brazilian forest was twice as big as all of France. Today, it is reduced to only 7% of what it is was then, and in Salgado's birthplace the forest is even more sparse at 0.3% of its initial size. When Salgado was young, the town of Amors offered only the first part of secondary school, so he left in 1960 to live in Vitoria, a coastal town 185 kilometers away that was the capital of the state of Espiritu Santo. There he completed his secondary education in 1962. The next year he went to university to study economics and graduated in 1967, the year he married Lilia Deloise Wanick. They left for Sao Paulo where Salgado received a master's in economics, and Lilia finished her 12 years of conservatory training in piano. In 1969 they moved to Paris, and Salgado studied for a doctorate in economics while Lilia began her architectural studies at the National Higher School of Fine Arts. In 1971, they moved again to London, where Salgado worked as an economist for the International Coffee Organization. He traveled often to Africa on missions affiliated with the World Bank. It was then that he first began taking his first photographs. On his return to London, these images began to preoccupy him, and he abandoned his career as an economist. At the beginning of 1973, he and his wife returned to Paris so that he could begin his life as a photographer. At first, Salgado worked as a freelancer and joined the Sigma Photographic Agency in 1974. During the few months he remained at Sigma, he photographed stories in Portugal, Angola, and Mozambique. He joined the Gamma Photographic Agency in 1975 and worked on many stories throughout almost all of Africa, Europe, and Latin America. In 1977, he began a long photographic essay on the Indians and peasants of Latin America. During this period, Lilia also finished her architectural studies and continued her postgraduate work in urban planning. In 1979, Salgado left Gamma and joined Magnum Photos, where he would stay for 15 years. Along with many reportages in several countries for a variety of European and American magazines, in 1984 he finished his work on the Indians and peasants of Latin America. This work was published as his first book, Other Americas, in France, Spain, and the United States. From 1984 to the beginning of 1986 he worked, along with the humanitarian organization Doctors Without Borders, on an 18-month project documenting the African famine. He published two books, Sahel, Man in Distress, France, and Sahel, The End of the Road, Spain. The two books and a number of photographic exhibitions were created specifically to support the efforts of Doctors Without Borders. From 1986 to 92, Salgado traveled to 23 countries to create a series of photographs on the end of the age of large-scale industrial manual labor. In 1993, he published The Book Workers, an archaeology of the industrial era in eight countries. More than 100,000 copies of the book were printed, and a large exhibition has been circulating throughout the world to more than 60 museums so far. In 1993, Salgado began another series of photographs, inspired by workers, which would be called Migrations. This project would bring him to 43 countries, on every continent, to document the peoples who abandoned the countryside for the cities. As part of the project, for example, he photographed nine megalopolises which had experienced enormous increases in population during the last two decades due to various forms of migration. The books, migrations, and portraits of children of the migration 
were also published in eight countries with more than 220,000 copies in print. Eight sets of a large exhibition were simultaneously produced to be shown throughout the world. As well, more than 3,000 sets of 60 posters were created to be shown in union halls, churches, cultural centers, schools, etc. An educational program also was produced to accompany the exhibition in several countries. More than 3 million people are estimated to have seen this work. During this time, other books have also been published. Les Cheminots, published in France in 1989. An Uncertain Grace, published in 1990 in the United States, Great Britain, Japan, France, Portugal, and Italy. The Best Photos, published in Brazil in 1992. Photopoke, published in France in 1993. Terra, published in 1997 in Brazil, France, Portugal, Italy, Great Britain, Germany, and Spain. And finally, Photopoche Sarah Pallotta, published in France in 1999. Almost all of these books, as well as most of the exhibitions, were conceived and created by Lilia Deloise Wanick. Sebastio Salgado and his wife also formed Amazonas Images in 1994, the year when Salgado left Magnum Photos. Amazonas Images is a press agency which may be the smallest photographic agency in the world, representing only one photographer. The couple also have worked together since 1991 on the restoration of a small part of the Amazon rainforest in Brazil to its natural state. In 1998, they succeeded in making this land a nature preserve and created Instituto Terra, which includes an educational center for the environment. More than 500,000 trees have been planted, and the project is at the heart of a much larger community effort focusing on sustainable development in the Rio Doce Valley. Sebastio Salgado is also a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and an honorary member of the Academy of Arts and Sciences in the USA. He has received numerous prizes, including several honorary doctorates and many other accolades for his photographic work. Salgado currently lives in Paris, France, with his wife.
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll always stay up to date with all the videos I produce here. Until the next one, see you later.